Place IQ is a location data analytics company. We've basically gained access to a massive location data set of how devices move around in the real world. And we've built proprietary patented algorithms to extract context from where do they shop, where do they eat, uh, where do they live, uh, how do they recreate, where do they go in the real world, how often do they spend time in places. And we're allowing marketers as well as other types of entities to use this same data set to solve all kinds of problems. So we chew on about 300 billion location transactions a month. Uh, we use Hadoop to process the front end of that where we ingest, store the data, uh, structure it, cleanse it. Very few of our customers could use those technologies. I understood that if we could get the data back into traditional relational data warehouse form, uh, we would reach hundreds if not thousands more customers than we could leaving everything on a proprietary Hadoop stack. If you look at you know, sort of traditional data warehouses, Vertica, columnar store types of databases, you tend to have to know what your scale is in advance, plan for it, and be very specific about what you provision. And it's also very costly as you try to you know, scale that. Uh, so that's where I started to trend towards looking towards cloud and service-based offerings that were warehouses. Uh, and that is what ultimately led me to Snowflake, right, as a company that's really focused on, yes, cloud-based, flexible expansion of a warehouse, but also had a very compelling roadmap in terms of building all the functionality that we were going to need down the road, multi-tenancy, uh, management of performance and load uh, in, a, in a very dynamic way. Talking through the community and other CTOs, other people who are out there evaluating similar technologies, uh, Snowflake's name came up very early in the process. Reached out to the company and, and started to talk to the team, got involved with the product team and actually had a, a very good meeting with uh, you know, the, the engineering team. Seeing the engineering team and the core tech team interested in our use cases and how they could build the roadmap informed by customers. Now we've hired people who are traditional business analysts who have skills like just Excel spreadsheet, maybe Tableau, basic SQL skills. Uh, we put them on top of Snowflake uh, with our data and they've gone out and now work directly with customers without any interaction from the higher end engineers. And they're, they're, now we've been able to scale basically identifying solutions and working with customers because that's really our business now. If we're going to scale and be successful, we have to take our data, work very iteratively with our customers very rapidly to solve a problem, then they subscribe to our data set. So the pace of being able to do that and the cost of being able to do that now makes the business scalable and feasible. It's kind of data warehouse as a service. You know, think of this completely differently. Not, not data warehouse as a big monolithic, uh, costly uh, ivory tower, but now you know, both access to billions of data records is, is something that's seamless, right? I, we can execute queries in uh, you know, 30 seconds and deliver uh, you know, com computed results off that level and scale of data to an individual user. Location is central to the way uh, phones are working and phones are central to the way consumers are behaving. So we're in the center of that and, and we need to continually uh, maintain access to all that information and continue to do our analytical job of turning that into context and making it available for customers.